the fuck? Are you awake? I thought I heard you get up. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about about him? I don't know. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> you should get back to sleep, my love. I'm fine. No, no, it's okay. What else is on your mind? This, this is gonna be one of the games that's random story. I don't know. It um, seems okay, weird. Not really but I had one of the most vivid dreams <laughs> of my life. I saw a fox on a snowy mountain, just looking confused and worried. Those eyes. I can't get those eyes out of my head. She was running in the windy snow, looking for something. Do you think it has to do with... with you and what's been going on? I don't know. It was just a dream, Rachel. Uh, well, They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. Well, if you're not going to sleep anyway, you should tell me. I want to hear. All right. So, not far from her home, she followed that path to something unexpected. Uh, was unexpected? Was it what I just found, or...? She couldn't stay, though. She had to find her other two children. So she took that path. She followed it towards something ancient. Something with answers. Snow is very glowy. The fox looked high and low, searching for any sign of her cubs. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell, all their own. The land was trying to tell my story, too. I felt like I was right behind her the whole time. You collected five stars. What for? You show me a way to a tree. way of putting it. If wood was a canvas, then a carving knife was his paintbrush. Even after working a 50-hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the nicest piece of Alaskan weeping cedar and make me toys. That wooden train was the first toy I can remember, and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. Mid-air, 
glowing rock. Blood. That's not a rock. Happy place. Can't double jump. You can only fly with their tail, you just can't tell. What if this is a secret Sonic Cat game and the voiceover is <laughs> depressed Sonic? She's <laughs> <laughs> like Amy showing it off or something. <laughs> the older I got, the more I withdrew. I asked myself, why talk to anybody anyway? Why bother when I'm happy by myself? I started drawing a lot, mostly animals I saw in the woods by my home. I then imagined designing my own hideouts with things like TVs and pantries, and chips and cookies. I think that idea of leaving home and drawing blueprints started my career. I found a lot of solace in that. I'm not surprised, but I did the same thing, you know? There's something special about having a place to call your own. And now look at us. Well, you count renting in an overpriced yeah, city. <laughs> it's as close as we can get for now. I hope not. It's a big pub. Oh, there. It's a whole Is that not the one I have to pick up? Well, this is where the American battle happened. Grass and then get up right. Right. <laughs> you got double jump. I was expecting a different level to go. My teenage years were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. I wasn't popular or unpopular. Maybe just forgettable. I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Put fireworks in mailboxes, hide roadkill in people's garages, break windows at the barber shop in Anchorage. My dad was furious, but he was so busy working he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living, and he couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah, I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than what was going on with me. That's too, too, too fun. If you speed ahead, you can get the gist of the story by looking at the stuff on the floor. Yeah. Really quick. He was working another late night, and my friends Jeez. were over, saying how bored they were, and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was hill, still in the garage, in and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were careening around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff, while my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. Felt like I was soaring in the air with borrowed wings. But all good things have endings. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's yard. What followed was a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. Is 
to see me there. Long, pretending it didn't bother me, but it did. I imagined my friends growing old in the bush, unable to find that thrill in those godforsaken ice fields. It's like those mountains were a literal wall, keeping me from leaving, where yeah, all I would have to look forward to are lumber yards and evening beers. I had to climb over. That was my only goal for a long time. take my love of drawing and turn it into a way of escape, nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one yeah, factor for these rocks. If you didn't oh. have that fire in you, we probably would have oh, never yeah. met. You're absolutely right. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? <laughs> and why can't I stop thinking about my dad? Could you play a game about fox for me? I bet, you, I bet you have to go down the other pass first before you go, no. go this way. The wood of Warcraft Elf Forest. Even at my most distant, at the times when I detested him the most, he kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. 
I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. Sam. He carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage You're just dense. and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. Can you, can you, can you play it? Uh, I'll see on the way back, Sam. I'm going to this objective rock. Greens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. Then why does it feel so different? Yeah. Oh, you can't I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. Drinks me into a really hard platform, so. something I'm gonna be clicking on it like loads am I? I didn't do that to normal 
does it do? You double jump unless you do it both early on. Names go all the way back. Yeah. I keep thinking the sun is like a really special one of those glowing things. White thing is falling. You got 53. What, what can you do with it? I grabbed the balls, didn't I? The Get a hundred white stars, unlock the rest of the story. Like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead. And he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell oh, him sorry? these stories. I can never reminisce with him again. I he can never right. hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. For everything.
sounds more like that. Um, what white glowing fox skin? <laughs> yeah, what was that called again? I don't, I don't know. a trigger to turn the music off just now. Right, over, this, over this hill is where they introduce the uh, vehicle mechanic. New power, looking on water. Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. How's you doing, my name? You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, been. have I ever told you what my mother was like? Just been, alright. Sixteen. He's smiling, you can see. I was walking that whole time, so I wanted to tell You know what it's like not to have a mom at home. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching yeah, the birds in the morning before the school bus Stop came. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami creams while she was in the hospital. So I told myself, I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. I think we both oh, have always loved cool. animals, and for me that love started with a dog. Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, but only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way, except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and... I withdrew. More and more I became the weird quiet kid who made lots of origami birds and carried talk biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. I summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. The wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat. I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly. And that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. You have strength, Joseph, and you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless. 
Just waiting for life to happen. It's Hell like yeah. having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. Oh, the thought of being a parent myself. How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? Wow. I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. Is, is he gonna wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road, together. Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning where any hopeful road leads to. There may be thorns and mist, but it always leads to the same thing. And what's that? Family. I'm so glad that you're part of my family, Rachel. And I'm glad you're part of mine. Treat
she? Was that the last time you talked to him? No, I called on holidays, and he would call on my birthday. I guess we acted like nothing ever happened, which was stupid. I didn't want to ask about his lumber yard, and I'm sure he didn't want to ask about my job search. I never went back and visited. I think the last conversation we had was about what movies we had seen, and what exactly a best boy is in the credits. I thought he would be here so much longer. In the distance, the first tree illuminated the wasteland. She couldn't go home anymore. She did the only thing she was capable of. It's gonna be a wasteland, is it? Moving forward. My dad died alone in the middle of the wilderness. I should have been talking to him more. I should have done a lot of things differently. If the first tree on earth brought life with it, if it taught the birds to sing and fly and showed saplings how to grow, what could it do for us? received yesterday from a name I didn't recognize with a quote I can't stop thinking about. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. More and more, I'm realizing one important truth. Each of us have our own journey to the first tree, but sometimes I'm not sure I'm ready to take that first step. You already have my love. I don't I'm think dreams normally like bring back to memory so many important feelings. I don't think they've coded. Maybe so. it was just it's a dream, but it was also a gift. Absolutely. Yeah, I suppose. But tomorrow we're getting on a plane to the last place on Earth I want to be. The only person that would have made the trip worth it is gone. You're going to see him and be with him one last time before you say goodbye. 
I have one last quote for you by Emerson, sealed in an imaginary letter from me to you. It is the secret of the world that all things subsist and do not die, but only retire a little from sight and afterward return again. Go to sleep, my love. We have a big day tomorrow, but I'll be there with you every step of the way. Where is he going if it's the last place he wants to be? Thank you. The sulfur mines? Thanks for listening. Good night, Rachel. Good night, Joseph. It's just a, you must take Am I looking five, for five photographs to open this gate. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> to your left, to your left. What's up there? The, uh, the fallen ladder. They're in one of the boxes on the truck. Isn't it? Barely seeing them, mate. Do I have a flashlight? Key in the fridge. Tell me if you see it, because I can't see shit. I've, got, I've kind of got screenshots, I can't really see. Wait, why aren't they live, Bob? Go on, that Bob. What a weird looking room. Why, what, why has it made everything dark as if it's trying to scare people? <laughs> as if there's a key here, could it glow or something? Nice. Look at that jump, jump scare you with the uh, the dad's not really dead. He just pops out of nowhere. Is that the sound of this fridge here? Yeah? I think so. Very loud. Is it? Do they keep a yeah, remote control on a plate? <laughs> well, why would you go to sleep with if you haven't finished your packing and shit and left it outside? You know, who would do that? No one. You can click on the tent, can What? Your cursor went darker. I didn't see that.
she goes up hill, jump up and you'll see if you catch up. Someone vandalized that tree. That's not the same fox because it wasn't white before, so. 